Hey everyone, welcome back to our Let's Play Solaris with me, Lord Cucumber, and Cucumbria, and the second summer of love, Space Hippies. Now again, we've been quite violent uh, in the past few episodes. We have very little choice in the matter. Um, however, Love Star is still completely uh, love and nothing else. And we have some nice... Beautiful um, colonies to talk about. <laughs> I am um, considering. Let's see. We where we are. Uh, we have a, a Gaia world, which is where? Which system? Barnard Star. <laughs> right. We have Barnard Star, a uh, Gaia world, and we have Alpha Centauri uh, in the Alpha Centauri system. Now, <clears throat> one thing I haven't covered in this series or any series on this cha in this um, on this game yet very uh, extensively is the fact that you can create sectors. Sectors are one way to free up the uh, planetary limit that you can control five planets. Basically, you give an administration full rights uh, to rule your um, your colony uh, more or less independently from you they'd still do you know pretty provide you with resources and science points and everything but they just go their own way uh, and try to improve your systems for you and I think we're gonna do pretty much that with Alpha Centauri in this particular video and let's have a look around at Flower Child. Flower Child is doing all right on the surface they've got um, the fifth pop as, as they say coming up and as soon as that is up we will be able to uh, get the tree hugger second summer of love thing uh, going we can also clear this for a reasonable amount of uh, money so we will that kelp needs to go clearing the kelp there we are we're clearing the kelps they can be cleared because we have the technology for that and uh, that, that's going to help us <coughs> quite a bit in our efforts to get this thing going. Also, uh, what I feel we need to do, we have a... We have a science station here, research station, yeah. Right, so that's nice. <coughs> and I do believe... Do we have a military station here as well? Military power. A mining station. No. We actually didn't build any outposts here. Which is good because outposts actually cost you influence. And influence, my dear friends, is important. You may think, well, you only use influence for certain things, small things. But you actually also use them to um, replace your leaders. <coughs> And sometimes leaders die. And they can totally screw up your science, for instance. So we do need to do that. Uh, we have a research station here at Sirius. We have a planet here at Sirius that we could live on. Ooh. Oh my. Continental world at Sirius. Is it any good? Surface. It is. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, that's our next target, definitely. <laughs> and then we have Kildatha, which is clearly sort of the edge of our power. We need to keep this there for now. That's okay. I mean, it's a frontier outpost. That will cost us some of this. And we've got some edicts also. But we need to keep gaining this and keep it above 100 at least <clears throat> while we can. So we're going to do that. Uh, Alpha Centauri needs to grow. Once it's done growing, we are cool. And what kind of fleet are we talking here? The Happy Flash Group. Oh yes, it's actually going to be repaired. It's, it's set to be repaired after our engagement with uh, with what? What were we fighting? Stuff in the um, <coughs> corner burps. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, this system. Alien vessels. We were going for the alien vessels. That is true. <clears throat> but it was a pretty interesting system. It has 
couple of planets that are worth checking out. Or is there a, um, is a frozen world here? A barren world? Barren world. A tomb world. That does not sound... Very, that actually sounds like something I haven't checked yet. Hmm. Interesting. I presume that's interesting to check. And we will in due time. Um, but enough about that right now. I feel we should start colonizing Syria soon. <coughs> that sounds like a very good idea. I don't know why we haven't done that yet. Why we took Barnard Star instead. I have no clue. Because it was out of our reach probably. So. Let's see. We have construction ships. I guess what we can tell it to do. Is go over here. Build a science. Um, a battle. A military station. No available military station designs. So we're going to have to fix that. New design. Nope. That's not going to happen. Okay. Never mind. With the latest patch, now also the transport ships have become designable. Which is really nice because... You know... <coughs> you want to design some of that. We're going to send one of our construction ships to Alpha Centauri for the time being. Do we have anything else we can do? No, we've actually pretty much built everything. We have timed projects. The debris at Jinkath. Uh, did we... Did we have a science ship? We think we ha I think we had a science ship. Is it going back to Vijmar? Evasive. Let's put it on passive. Where are you going? And why are you doing this? This makes no sense. Because I want you to go. Oh God. No, 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 no. Move yourself out here. And we're going to just move around and get to that debris. There we are. That's the plan. That is the plan for now. As soon as this uh, happy flash group is fixed up again. I suppose. Let's see. We have the Bard M and the Minstrel. It's a missile ship. Happy flash. Can we or can we not? Ooh, yes we can. Okay, and we will. And we need armor. We are the happy flash. Two. And we will upgrade that as soon as we are able. Oh, we've got science. That's done. New research. Okay, we're going to get re regenerative health tissue. I could get other things. Complete. But it's actually really an interesting... Ooh, oh, the border range, man. Artificial moral codes. Unlocks Diplomacy Form Federation. <gasps> that is a really good one to have. I'll have to choose. I think I'm going to do this. And then Cloud Lightning. I don't know what these are going to do for us. And Barrier Point Defense actually is better than that. I I generally recommend taking the purple ones when we have no point defense systems. What kind of... That's a Pulsar. A Pulsar Star. That's so lovely. Alright, we've surveyed that system. Nice. Um. Okay, we've completed the thing here now. I'm going to have... We could up, eventually we could upgrade this. Import, improved spaceport is not available yet. Okay, fine. What did we build then? Something on the surface? No doubt we did. Oh, we can upgrade these. Yes, by all means. And yes, by all means. There we go. Takes a little bit, but then worth it. Planetary administration, is that also up? We upgrade you as well. Yeah. Takes a lot of that stuff, but that's fine. We're gonna get a lot of stuff back, so we're not gonna worry about that. 
All right, so you're he, he you're not here. What are you doing here? Oh, I've got a second science ship. Really? Oh, okay. Do we get a new leader for that yet? Yeah. Do we have anyone of it? Wait, Pietro Mancini is available. And Fio. We should get you in here. Society research. Yeah. And then what we should do is get Mancini in here. There we go. She's real good at this stuff. And then we can now get this science ship with the highly experienced Barak Alawi to go and see what else is up. There we go. I guess we'll start with we'll start with you. Then you and then and then you. Like this. So there we go. Alright, so, uh, where is the, oh my god, where are you? Oh yeah, you're still going. Okay, cool. Now we can get normal speed up again. And hopefully, okay, they've returned to Love Star. We're going to upgrade the ship, the ships, all of them. Bardems, Bardems 2. Yeah, one mermaid. One happy flash Corvette. Bard M. Yeah, okay. Okay, they're coming in now. What I want to do is upgrade fleet. If I can. I guess I can't. Not right now. All right, maybe we should get a ship designer up and get rid of these. Yeah, get rid of these. We're just going to make the Happy Flash to our main ship, if you will. Maybe give them Sentinel Point Defense. Save. Oh, save. Yes. And then upgrade them. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. I know. I know, I know there's stuff there. But we are to... Okay, wait a minute. Oh, you're going. Oh, that's fine then. No worries. Okay. Upgrade the whole damn fleet. There we go. And in orbit around... Uh, uh -huh. The Yota aliens. I guess we should... Research that. That will help us. Well, somewhat. Okay, apparently... Search projects. Research project. There we go. So that's gonna help. Research complete. Ah, research has been done. The auto cannon. Wonderful. I feel we should get... The spaceport level 2 thing up. That would really help us in this case. Uh, oh, really? The happy flash group has been fully repaired? But what about the upgrades, man? I really like to have them upgraded. Do we have them upgraded? Oh, no, they're upgrading it. Okay, that takes about 80 days more. Good! That will help. Quite a bit. How many ships are there in this fleet anyway? 10? We have 14. Suppose I can build two more while we're at it. Make, make sure we have 12. There we are. How's, um. Oh, no. I don't want to go there. How's Alpha Centauri these days? How's Flower Child? Surface. Almost! But not quite. <laughs> and we seem to have cleared uh, the tiles here. That's perfect. So that's nice. I like it. It's a beautiful world, flower child. Is 
Is our fleet almost done? I'm gonna say in 20 days. Okay, I'll take that. There we go. And we're done. Okay, they've been upgraded. They're gonna build two more of those. And uh, Debris and Jinkath. Yeah, that's gonna be f done fairly soon as well. The science ship is working on that. Investigate the Eta aliens. We're gonna do all of that, man. We're all gonna do that. Okay, research output. We should build more research stations. One tip I can give you if you play a democracy, this is a pretty interesting tip. Um, get the mandate thing. Get it. Build it. Do it. <laughs> you need it. <laughs> Trust me. You will need it. Um, Cucumbria. After this, I would like to have a colony ship. We don't have the money for a colony ship. Of course, we're taking resources off. Yeah, mandates will give you um, an almost perfect... Um, oh, nice. We got points. An almost perfect way to get more influence. Okay, we're almost done there. We're almost done there. That is interesting. Special project complete. Ah, okay. The entities encountered by our fleet some time ago are new wondrous forms of space war knife. They're called the space amoeba. Um, the creature is in fact larger than the average space hippie corvette. Oh boy. We should leave it, leave it be and remotely monitor the creature and its kin from Cucumbria. Yes, I agree. Live and let live. That's very much the way I'd like to do it. Because I'm a hippie. I don't kill indiscriminately. So, we now know this. Um, why did I send you over? Ooh, there's a nice little uh, thing there. Barak Alawi. I'm going to have you... Try this anomaly, mate. Maybe you'll find something useful. Definitely. What is what is this? Oh, the NCS Nimbus. NCS the rail got combine. That's fascinating. Is that one of our neighbors? Yeah, the rail got combine. Okay, so we're all checking out this stuff now. <laughs> And there we go, yep. There's a failure risk of 20%. I'm hoping that Barack makes this. If he doesn't, we lose a science ship. It's a anomaly level 3 though, so that's challenging. Could lead to horrible, horrible things, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, the Love Star ship is... Love Star Happy Flash group is almost ready. So if he does encounter something violent... Ah, we've gotten a report from Science Officer Barakalawi. It seems that a ceramic container is circling the star's loblar. Most peculiar, uh, peculiar, as it would obviously not, it's, it should obviously, obviously not be there. Good grief, cucumber! Yet somehow it's made managed to find its way into close orbit. Special project can be issued to investigate the container and try to deduce how it ended up there. Surely this is a sign of the divine, so we can. Say, okay, man, somebody left this jug there and it's going to gain us influence. Or we can investigate it. I think I'm going to I'm gonna say, yeah, man, somebody left this jug there, the holy man. Dude, there we are. So thank you for the influence game. <coughs> All right, science ship is doing the rest of the things. Great. Sciencing all the things. That's cool. I think, I think, ooh. Yeah, Space Amoebas, the nickname now lovingly popularized on Cucumbria. Yeah, man, Space Amoeba, Amoeba are solitary animals when left to their own devices. All but the youngest specimens are accompanied by quasi-independent organisms dubbed flagella, seemingly spawned by the amoeba and programmed through liquid RNA-laced secretions to do the bidding of the host. Initially assumed to be young Space Amoebas, the flagella do not seem to factor into any reproductive mechanisms. Mechanics. Each individual flagellum. This is beautiful. I'm, these words. Instead, operating solely on a disconnected limb for its host amoeba. 
These flagella are capable of manipulating and even attacking objects in an impressive yet restrictive range around the host, periodically returning to lodge inside the host amoeba's body for reprogramming. There are potential military applications for graceful patterns of the circulation apparently in the flagella's movement. Cool, we get um, evasion plus 5% because of flagellation mo flagellating movement modifier. That's useful, I guess. Okay, so our fleet has been upgraded with stuff. Do we still have... Yeah, we still do. We do, stu still do have the problem at the Rukbats and at uh, Jurgelern. I don't know what these are, but we're going to have a look. We should. Okay, well, how about you survey this system? There we go. We're just going to check the, the system as... These guys have, you know, for the sake of science. Okay, so now that Love Star is done, we are not in a position yet to get um, going, unfortunately. Okay, we upgraded all of these buildings. So we get more resources out of it. Good job. Alpha Centauri, how... Okay. Reports of strange free-floating crystal-like objects observed in certain systems have been investigated. Okay. More aliens that we can study. We do not know, wish to risk coming into conflict with these prismatic enigmas. We ought to be establish a remote surveillance and observe them from the capital. Yeah, I agree. We are going to do exactly that. Orbital mandate... Uh, yeah. Okay. Void cloud observation and these. We'll do that. That's all physics science, but that's fine. Um Alright, so Habitable Worlds Research. We should get that, shouldn't we? Yeah. Okay. Going and going and going and Okay. An abandoned ship has been left adrift aimlessly above um, this moon. The massive sails protruding from its hull suggest that they relied on solar power to function. Research it. This might actually help us a great deal. So, oh my. Um, yes. Uh, oh, goodness gracious me. What? What? What's going on here? System survey complete. Construction complete. These, these crystallines have been a problem. Oh, they're going hostile on me. Um... Yeah, no, we're not gonna deal with that right now. Let's pull them out and go to the other system where we had problems. Alright. Alright, system surveyed. Perfect. It's leaving now. Okay, we've got this. this uh, there's a lot of research in this uh, episode. Not a lot of combat. I, I'm gonna try and avoid combat. We had our skirmishes, we had our pirates. Pirates are definitely something we need to combat, but as hippies, we cannot live and that live. Uh, you know. Okay. We have discovered an abandoned solar sail ship in orbit around Jinkath 4th A. The sublight vessel was built by an unknown culture, but appears to be a sou several thousand years old. One of the massive sails has a large tear where some kind of object passed through, like a meteorite. Yeah. Meteoroid. Which appears to have, been di have disabled the vessel. Although the technology of the ship is severely outdated, it does possess some interesting engineering design choices. So we're going to get some engineering out of that. That is really nice. And the void clouds are stewards of the cosmos. Once space hippie astronomers knew what to look for, they found traces of the void clouds everywhere. Formed at, a, formed at the dawn of creation, they stood watch as stars were lit and young planets formed. Now they drift quasi-conscious agglomeration of inanimate matter <laughs> from the earliest hours of time itself, afloat between dying stars and breaking worlds. They are constant reminder that we are but small parts of something greater. Humbling. Happiness plus five. Yay! Five percent extra happy. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, okay. More about the crystalline entities. Uh, an earlier and perhaps more descriptive name for them was uh, silicate animate matter. <coughs> okay. 
Let's see, the subtle nuances of the crystalline entity social and hierarchical relationships are lost on us. So we don't know too much about how they interact with each other. Uh, entities do not seem to mate. Okay. It appears that the sporadic fluctuation in charge. Okay. Latent internal charge. Okay. So these are power powered creatures somehow. That die eventually. Crystalline entities are capable of violently discharging at a specific target and for unfortunately seem to prefer to do so rather than let foreign entities pass by unscathed. This knowledge will surely be a great boon to sciences. Okay, yeah. It will be a great boon to sciences. Well, alright. So we're going into this system. Let's see what's there. Oh yeah, that. It's one of those crystalline things, isn't it? Spaceborne organics. Well, we're gonna live and let live. I feel that's the best way to go around doing this. And I'm gonna send you back to Love Star for the time being. How are you doing here? Okay, you're doing great. Awesome. Alright. Well, this ship found a lot of anomalies so far. There's two two uh, possible habitable planets so that's nice that's gonna count towards our mandate thing and we do need more mandate thingies uh, we are by the way ready to get a new colony ship out to Sirius and I feel we should so let's um, go to the spaceport oh my another another anomaly let's read this efforts to map the surface of this planet by da -da -da. Uh, Troy Dom 1 uh, have identified a strange mountain formation in the southern hemisphere. It does not appear to have formed naturally. Good grief, man! Just go for it! <laughs> Find it! Or something. Another anomaly. Uh, anomaly. Okay, let's build the a colony ship. Because we need it. We need to go to Sirius and take that beautiful planet there we have a research we have one research station around Sirius 3 and then there's these planets yep and then there's this Bithya so this is a nice little corner of our universe that we could potentially get let's look at our neighbors while uh, we are doing this and I'm gonna call it an episode soon we have okay we are rivals with the Regarian Concordat. Uh, really? Oh, these are our neighbors. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, what? We're rivals with someone? But I don't think we are. Factions, the loyalists. Yeah. Uh, Hawksworth. It should. Oh, it now has a pop of six. Really? Create new sector. Can we get Alpha Centauri into the one sector? The flower child sector. And then, you know, I guess we'll do Procyon as well. There we go. Those are no longer within our um, sector. That's perfect. Finished. So that lowers our directly controlled planets, as far as I know, to two. Love Star and Barnard Star. Not quite sure... That's going to help. Yep. There you are. That's Flower Child for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We left a research station. No, no, no. We're good. We're good. I was like, what? Um, I suppose we should... Can we... What can we do? Not much. Um, It's okay. I guess we'll make kill Data and Barnard Star in another sector. Turn them into like a second sector and then Sirius and whatever's beyond. To a next sort of sector. Does my leader count go has my leader count gone down? I'm not sure. Or up. I want to see what the, I wanted to look at the neighbors, not this. <laughs> it's like no. Do we have anything available here? Oh we can't. No. 
leaders our leaders tab there we go governors where's he governing cucumbria available so i guess we took her out of that one specific uh colony which is off of centauri and we can now use reuse her in a different place we're going to use her to get to sirius after we build the colony ship but what i wanted to check in the first place was our contacts there we go okay so the regarian concordats are an indirect democracy they seem to like us they seem to like us they're militarists and they're fanatic spiritualists so let's see if we can you know Establish an embassy with them. Confirm. Um, we'll send them an alliance offer. There we go. And see how that goes. They will consider that, probably. Uh, and they say it's not for us. Okay. Yeah. Gonna stop for a second. Check our contacts. Reconsider everything. Um... The Norilga Combine. They are militarist collectivists. Mechonasts. Hegemonic imperialists. They're wary of us, but not necessarily hostile yet. Neutral, wary. They're neutral. Unidentified empire. Okay. Can we get an embassy? In with you yeah there we go we need to get embassies out with everyone as long as they like us can we get an embassy out with you guys communicate we can maintain a total of four embassies at any same time okay that's that's fine um, we have three guys that we want to communicate with so that's all right that is fine all right so I am going to leave it here for the time being. Um, we are going to Sirius. And we are going to get Sirius. Really serious. <laughs> Pun intended. No. And uh, hopefully um, this won't screw us over. But we'll have to wait and see. And um, I hope to see you guys and girls in whatever is the next video. See you later. Bye bye.